Well guys, here we are. The all famous Bronco 2 is getting some weeds growing around it in my backyard. Um, it's for sale. I had some people come and look at it. And so I pulled the tarp off and I never put the tarp back on, but we haven't had any rain in a few weeks. Uh, Anyway, I know I haven't done a video in a long time, and, uh, man, there's been a lot of things going on in my life, uh, so I really haven't had time to do a video. There's the old 72. Uh, so I, I finally broke down and bought a camera. It, I'm not really liking it so far yet, but, I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me. But anyway... So, there's an empty spot in the driveway. The uh, Saturn found a new home. Got 800 bucks for it. Um, don't worry, I still have my three quarter ton. She's just hanging out right there. But, I did have, oh, there's the wind. Did have something I wanted to show you guys. There is a new addition to the Road Warrior 72 collection of vehicles. Do a little zoomage here. Can anybody guess what it is? Obviously it's a Ford. Um, the grill might tell us. I don't know, it could be an Explorer. Could be a Ranger. I don't know. Let's find out. Well, I can't hold it in anymore. Here it is. This is a 2002 Ford Ranger XLT. And, uh, actually I got it from a fellow YouTuber. You guys might check out his, uh, page. Um, okay, his YouTube channel is Motion Auto TV. And that's one of his channels. I'll put his other channel and there also he's got two channels kinda like me um, anyway let's take a look at this thing uh, see here we'll do a full visual here it's a uh, considered a four four door um, and uh, the interior is in really really nice shape uh, it was well taken care of by the previous owner so I'll give him props on that um, Let's see here. We'll do a full walk around of it. It's got a lift on it. We might have to change up the way that it's lifted. Uh, but who knows yet. It's got two 85, uh, 75-16s. It's got dual exhaust. Um, and there's the sticker in the back window so that he can prove it's still his. Although that sticker may not be there for very long. I gotta do it up with my own stickers. So, anyway, this thing is in really nice shape. So, I got a real good deal on it. Uh, and I think he came out pretty happy too. Let's hear it run. Ow, I bumped my head. Starts right up. And uh, anyone that knows me knows that I don't like automatic transmissions. But, Sometimes you just got to go with it, so I'll be alright with an automatic for now. And here's a shot of the engine. It's just your standard 4 liter, but it does have one upgrade, a supercharger. So that's something a little new to me. Um, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Still has the original uh, uh, air intake system, but that won't be there for long. And uh, dual exhaust. I think I already said that. Anyway, the first thing I did to it was put a steering wheel cover on it. Because uh, i got to have my steering wheel covers. So anyway, really nice pickup. I like it. So there you go. My big thanks to uh, Motion Auto TV. Uh, I hope I got it right. Anyway, 
Um, this is a really sweet pickup, and uh, his only request was that, you know, it went to a good home, and it's going to a good home. Any of y'all know that if you've been watching my videos since the beginning, I take pretty good care of my cars. Except for that one, which is just kind of had the hell beat, beat out of it, been to hell and back a few times. But anyway, sweet. I guess the only downside to this pickup right now is I've got to do a little work on the AC. Um, it doesn't quite work, but uh, he told me what was wrong with it, so I know what to do to fix it. So I might do a video on that. Um, anyway, oh, you got some gauges over here. Got a boost gauge. And there we go. Focus in. So sweet. That'll do her up. And as I always say, adios.